हेलो माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन एंड पेरेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास सेवेंथ ऑफ इन दिस वैली पब्लिक स्कूल राज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड द पोम द शेड फ्रॉम द हनी कॉम कंपोज बाय फ्रैंक फिन माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन इन दिस पोम वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट अ शेड दैट वॉज एट द बॉटम ऑफ द गार्डन एंड इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाय द पोएट by the speaker of the poem and he had described the shed he is telling that it has a spider web that is hanging across the door and when the wind blows the creaking sound of rusty hinges attracts his attention when he is in the relaxed mood lying on the in the bed and plan to satisfy his curiosity to see what is hidden inside the shed so whenever the poet passes through the way he feels that someone is staring at him even his brother convinces him by saying that a ghost live in the shed and he may attack on him if he enters the shed he is partially frightened but he does not completely completely believe his brother and has a plan to look through the broken window one day so at the starting he was very frightened to look at the shed but as soon as the poem ends his frightening his frightness everything is gone and he become a dared person okay so this is what there in this poem it reveals the curiosity of a child and it is also shown that whenever a child is asked not to do a particular task he is going to do that particular task so it is shown it is revealed it is depicted in this poem okay children now coming to the summary of the poem There is a shed at the bottom of the poet's garden and the poet wishes to visit it one day. There is a spider's web on the door of the shed and its hinges are rusty and creak when the wind blows. The poet often thinks about it while lying in his bed. One side of the shed there is a dusty window. and three of its window panes are broken the poet feels as if someone stares at him through the window and whenever the poet visits the shed he found sorry he would like to find out who lives there okay the poet's brother inform him that a ghost lives inside the shed and if the poet dares to enter the shed the ghost would chop off his head that means cut off despite these warnings the poet wishes to visit the shed and peep inside the poet believes that his brother tells him imaginative stories about the ghost as he wants to keep the shed for himself The poet no longer feels anyone staring at him or hears any strange noises coming from the shed. The spider too is no longer there. Thus very soon he would go inside the shed. So this is there inside the poem. Now coming to the question answers. Who is the speaker in the poem? The speaker is the little child or you can say he will be the poet himself in his childhood days if she or he afraid or curious or both the speaker seems to be both curious as well as afraid to go inside the shed he wants to find out what is inside the shed at the time he is afraid because he thinks that the strange voice could be heard from here and there is possibly a ghost who lives inside the shed what is she or he planning to do soon she or he plans to plans to go inside the shed 
after some day soon but not just yet suggest doubt fear hesitation laziness or something else choose the word which seems right to you tell others why you chose it but not just yet seem to suggest lack of preparation the speaker wants to be further certain and prepare himself for his endeavor that means attempt he has already overcome his fear so there is no fear however waiting for the right time could be a reason for postponing the act why were the hinges of the door rusty hardly anybody went into the shed since the door were not open for a long time the hinges had become rusty next question what does the speaker usually do while lying in the bed the speaker generally contemplated the ideas of going inside the shed what is the speaker's brother say about the shed the speaker brother talked about the presence of a ghost inside the shed he also warned the speaker that if he won ever went inside the shed the ghost might chop off his head saying so the speaker's brother frightened the speaker uh i have given you a strike just go through the strike and just prepare yourself for these type of questions asked the mcqs okay so what is the condition of window described in the poem it is a sparkling with a new glass panes three panes of it are cracked all panes of it are broken off the children playing cricket have broken the window completely which is the correct option b the three planes of it are cracked next one why does a poet want to peep through the window as he is he has passes it so correct answer to find out this somebody is sitting at him to steal something to see the ghost so now why does poet want to peep through the window as it passes to see the ghost to steal something to find out if somebody is staring at him to see his brother and his friends so now to find out if somebody is staring at him is the correct option next one what feeling of the poet is exhibit in the feeling peep exhibit in his peeping through the window the poet is emotional the poet is careless the poet has a lot of curious time the poet is curious so it is the correct option the poet is curious does the poet get secret sorry the, does the poet get scared at the thought of peeping through the window no the poet does not fear at all it is his head uh, it is his own blood decision what according to the poet's brother stills the poet the, um, the there might be a ghost as seen as has been told by the poet's brother what is the window why is the window dusty because the shed was not being used for a long time by anybody therefore it has become an abode of dust now children there is a homework that you will do with do it by yourself and the homework is is there a room in your house or home in your neighbor locality where you would rather go on a long and never at night if the if there is such a place where a story to go with it let others fear uh, let other hear all about it so this is you are going to do what you have to do is that you have to make yourself covered and dresses with the boot with the ghost and uh, you will tell whether the how far hard uh, this poem is feasible what precaution should we have to take while designing the questionnaires okay 
so my dear children do it yourself you will design the shed you will tell what is kept in that what is the use of that shed nearby your place okay so till then complete your task thank you so much